Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to leverage YouTube as an app on Zapier and specifically integrate that with AI. Now, one thing I want to point out before jumping into today's video is that if you're a current subscriber or you're new to the channel, welcome. We have went ahead and restructured our playlist. So now we're creating a playlist called Zapier for AI. And essentially, our goal of this playlist is that we're going to address all 5,000 apps found in Zapier and see how GBT can integrate with them and give a specific use case. In context, this specific video is for the YouTube app. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. So today's Zap we're gonna be creating essentially is when a new YouTube video is published, we're gonna generate an AI tweet and therefore, you know, streamlining the different social medias and allowing you to not necessarily like have to post a tweet when you know you drop a new YouTube video. So let's go ahead and begin how to do this process. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rename our zap here to YouTube with AI. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna set our trigger. We're gonna go to YouTube. And then we are gonna do the event of new video by channel. So in theory, you could find a new video uh, by any channel. If you wanted to use this function, new video, this will essentially allow you to input a username. So in some context, if you have a niche and you want to publish like, like news or content around a niche, you could in theory publish videos by grabbing uh, specific headliners that are like dominant in that niche, if that makes sense. So maybe a bunch of cooking channels, but for this specific use case, we're going to act like we own the YouTube channel. So we're going to do new video and channel continue here we're going to choose our web cafe ai account here i'm going to go ahead and hit continue and then all we need to do is put in our channel id in order to find your channel id all you need to do is grab it in the url above me here i'm just going to go ahead and copy that come back over to zapier and then we can paste it right here there we go hit continue and then this should find it Okay, perfect. So as you see here, it went ahead and grabbed the specific title to the YouTube video we just dropped and all the contents and data associated with that video. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit continue here and we're going to make a chat GPT block. I'm gonna go ahead and do an event conversation. And if you're a long time watcher of this channel and you're noticing me like drag my head around a little bit more, uh, trying to get it more towards like this type of content, essentially we're posting more on TikTok and shorts. So we're trying to figure out the best way to optimize our videos for you know obviously the phone direction so don't mind me if i keep jumping around here but we're gonna go ahead and hit continue here in conversation continue again and let's go ahead and begin here so essentially the idea is let's go ahead and create a tweet that essentially shouts us out like hey check out this youtube video it just dropped and here's the link so we're gonna be able to do all that in this flow here so we're gonna go ahead and say based on this youtube video title we're gonna do semicolon and we're gonna do parentheses here. And we're gonna do parentheses again. We're gonna say generate a tweet that tells people to check it out. So we're gonna just do that as a simple prompt for now. I think I wanna add a CTA. I think I wanna add hashtags, but for now, let's begin with that. We're gonna upper model to four. You could use 3.5 in this context, but for what we're trying to do here, we're just gonna keep it at four. We're gonna do a memory key of auto auto tw for auto tweets if you don't know what memory key is it basically means so that every time it generates an output for this specific context it is consistent so we're gonna go ahead and test that action okay so as you see to the left of me let me go ahead and drag myself down here a little as you see above me now you have the emojis and then it says watch now link to the video obviously this is this is too much information it's not structured correctly so we're gonna have to go ahead and fine-tune this prompt a little bit in order to do so, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and say, generate tweet that tells people to check out. Okay, let's add a parameter here. Generate just the tweet, no emojis, no uh, only three uh, niche specific hashtags. Don't mention video link. All right, so that's gonna be our next stage here. One other thing I'm gonna add here is gonna put a context block here. I'm gonna say, make sure to follow Twitter guidelines when it comes to uh, 
max characters. I'm gonna do this for now. I think maybe a more effective way would, would have been just a simply saying, hey, only do 300 characters. So I might just change it to that. But first, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna hit continue. And first off, I need to actually update our memory key. So our memory key is gonna be just add a one to refresh it. It's like starting a new chat in the regular UI of ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so as you see here, it says discover the new power of Zapier webhooks with ChatGPT. Improve your business strategies using ChatGPT AI and webhooks. Don't miss out on this insightful YouTube tutorial. Then a little bit of an emoji here. It's not too bad, but honestly, now that I'm doing this, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna make this a little bit more effective and add a little bit more flair to the underlying tweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the parameters again. Okay, so I went ahead and updated the prompt a little here. I essentially added max 240 characters. In theory, Twitter's 280, but I wanna add a little bit of fixed text you'll see later in this tutorial. Then I added context. I changed the context to we are a web cafe AI, an automation agency that provides AI to business. And then I changed the tone to sound professional and fun. Let's go ahead and revamp our memory key here. So we start with a fresh chat, fresh output, continue, test this action, and let's see what it'll look like. Okay, so I like this a lot better. It says, discover how to supercharge your business with Zapier webhook and ChatGPT. Check out our latest YouTube video to a seamless integration experience. Don't miss out. Hashtag webhooks, web, eh, web hashtag automation, hashtag webcaf AI. Perfect. That is what I want to look at here. We're going to go ahead and just begin the process of building out that tweet. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Twitter. And then we're going to choose the event of create a tweet. Continue do your account. And then we're going to go ahead and put in that uh, outputted, which is going to be assistant response message. We're going to get hit, go ahead and hit enter here. And we're going to say uh, find video here. And then I'm gonna find the down pointing emoji. I'm gonna add a little bit of indentation there. And then we're gonna do something that's really cool here. Something that you'll probably be like, wow, like that's really effective. We're gonna go to our original trigger here, which was finding the video. And we're gonna get our URL right away, just right there. So we're gonna be able to put it right there. And we're gonna go ahead and shorten URLs. Yes, continue. And let's go ahead and test this action. All right, perfect. As you see below me, it works. We got our nice little tweet. Discover how to supercharge your business. Uh, with Zapier webhooks, so on and so forth. Find video here, fixed text, won't change. And then we can click that video right there. And it looks like we can even watch it inside or we can go ahead and watch it on YouTube here. And this is a nice little short here, but here's the thing. And we're gonna make this even cooler here. So it went ahead and grabbed this short, but in context of what I'm gonna try to achieve here, Maybe I don't want this, you know, pushing out a tweet every time there's a short because we tend to do a lot of shorts and we don't want to maybe spam our Twitter feed, make it more professional per se. So we're going to go ahead and add a filter here so that we're only targeting long form content rather than short form content. In order to do so, we're going to add a filter and then we're going to go ahead and say detail duration is... Had it tweaked a little instead of less than because we're saying only continue if it's going to be greater than. So we're going to say detail duration is greater than one minute. Continue. And then as you see here, if we went ahead and retest the filter, it wouldn't continue in this context because as we know, shorts are only a minute long in YouTube. Therefore, anytime you post a short now using this Zapier, you won't be pushing toward, we won't be pushing your YouTube shorts towards your Twitter account. Rather, the only thing that would be able to go past this would be a YouTube video. And in order to show that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a YouTube video that is a long form piece of content by go ahead and just scouring through this data real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and find the duration. So that is another short form video. Let me just go ahead and find one. Okay, well, sadly, since I can't load any more videos, it seems like there's a max of three test variables I can load and they're all shorts. I can't show it live, but if you go ahead and try it yourself, you'll see how it works perfectly fine. From here, you can find this AI automation in the description below. Simply click and add it to your profile. If you felt like you learned something up to this point, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. We do a ton of stuff when it comes to AI automation and we are a service agency ourselves. So if you're a business looking to get AI integrated in your business, check out our form below. But without further ado, check out that playlist at the end of this video as we do a bunch of other stuff with other apps. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe.
where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.